Welcome to the creating arithmetic questions in the question library demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create an arithmetic question in a section in your question library. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create an arithmetic style question in any assessment. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the gray course navigation bar, click on the assessments link. Notice the tabs at the top, Manage Assessments, Question Library, and Statistics. Click on the Question Library tab. Now we are going to create new questions in this section. Click on the section name to go into its folder. From the new drop down button, click on the Arithmetic Questions. You can leave the title of the question blank. Doing so will make the question text show up as the title. You can leave the point value set to 1. This number can be changed later when you create your assessment. Click in the question text field and enter in your question. Example, if you have X apples and Y oranges, how many pieces of fruit do you have? Notice that the variables are enclosed with braces. This tells the computer that X and Y are variables that will be defined for this question. If you want to add an image to go along with this question only, click the Insert an Image button. Click the Upload button. Locate the image on your computer. Select the image. Click Open. Once your image is uploaded, click Add. In the Formula field, enter your formula. Be sure to put your variables inside braces. Example, x plus y. The Answer Precision box tells the computer how many places after the decimal to use when determining if the answer is correct or not. This example sets the answer precision to one place after the decimal. This means an answer of 10 must be written as 10.0. Check the Enforce Precision box if you want D2L to mark the answer wrong if the incorrect number of decimals is used. Set the tolerance depending on how much error you will allow in the question. If you set the tolerance as units plus or minus 0.3, then an answer of 10 will be accepted if it falls between 9.7 and 10.3. You could also set the tolerance as a percent of the answer. Enter your units. In this example, our unit are fruits. Enter the percentage of this question value that the units will get. We'll set this at 10%. Now we get to the variables. We use the variables in the question inside the braces. But here, we do not enter the braces. Put a variable name in each name box. Next, Set the range for the variable x. Example, min 1, max 5, decimal places 1, step 1. This means that when the computer chooses an x variable, it must choose the value according to these rules. The lowest x it can choose as 1, and the highest is 5. It can choose a number using a step of 1. This means it can only choose 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Next, set the range for the variable y. Example, min 3, max 5, decimal places 1, step 0.5. This means that when the computer chooses a y variable, it must choose the value according to these rules. 
the lowest y it can choose is 3. The highest is 7. It can choose a number using a step of 0.5. This means it can only choose 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5, and 7. Now, click the test button next to your formula. Notice the variables and the sample values chosen. Notice the formula, the solution with units, and the range. Make sure that the formula is acting the way you expected it to act. Then click Done. If at any point you'd like to see what the question will look like, you can select the Preview button at the bottom. Once you have finished previewing the question, select Done to go back to the Edit screen. If you would like to create another question very similar to this one, click on the Save and Copy button. That will save this question and create another one with all of this question's information so you can just edit this question's information instead of retyping it. If you want to create another question of this question type, click on the Save and New button. That will save this question and give you a new blank question of this question type. When you are finished making changes, click on the Save button in the bottom left corner and you will return to your list of questions. You have now successfully created an arithmetic question in the question library.